What's up everyone, this is CyberKnight8610, and today we have some uh, pretty surprising news for you guys. It looks like Konami has come out with an adjusted list that's going to take effect on February 8th, which is this Monday. And uh, basically with this adjusted list, we're getting some uh, more cards that are going to be banned and limited, so it's kind of like an update to the ban list, as well as an errata for a Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer. So, some pretty big changes on this. First off, too, that these uh, changes will apply to all tournaments held at Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship Series events, regional qualifier events, and uh, UDS qualifier and invitational events. Uh, they also say, additionally, official tournament stores are free to use the adjusted list for their local events if they wish. Be sure to check with your official tournament store to confirm. So that means your locals might adopt this list and go with it, or they might not. You might want to check. More than likely, I would think that just about everyone would, but uh, yeah, be sure to check on that, you know, with your locals and everything too, so you know uh, what's going on. But anyway, here are the changes that are going to happen on this list. All right, first off, we have the new three cards that are going to be forbidden. That means they're banned. We have a uh, Before Mage Plush Fire, Before Mage Damage Juggler, and a Teller Knight Potomus. And then the three cards that are now limited, that means they go to one. We have Perform a Pal Skull Crobat Joker, Perform a Pal Monkey Board, and uh, Luster Pendulum the Draco Slayer. So yes, those are going to be your changes for uh, for the ban list, this kind of adjustment list, I guess, like they're calling it. Uh, they also talk about in this too, like, uh, don't always expect an adjustment list, like every time, like in between actual ban lists. And they also said uh, that in a month or two, we will have another official ban list, like the whole ban list and everything too, like we normally do. But uh, yeah, I thought this was really interesting. They they talk a lot about it too, and and about how they felt about Performa Pals and how well they were doing. And, and I mean, it's a pretty good article to read, and uh, I'm hoping it means good things in the future too, because it sounds like Konami is listening to a lot of people, and I think this is gonna be a good thing. Now, you might not be too happy though about these changes, though, if you are using Performa Pals, though, you might feel completely different. But I am glad to see that they are trying to make sure the game is fair on a lot of things, and uh, they're you know they're trying to listen to the players, which is always a smart thing to do for any company. And then, of course, like I said at the beginning, there's also a Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer errata. Uh, basically, I believe this is supposed to kind of go with the OCG effect, and this is for the uh, the monster effect. The Pendulum effect has, you know, is the exact same, but they have uh, errata the uh, monster effect to this. I'll go ahead and read it off. If this card is Special Summon, you can target up to two cards you control, destroy them, and if you do, add Perform Pal Monsters with different names from your deck to your hand, except Perform Pal Pendulum Sorcerer, equal to the number of cards destroyed. You can only use this effect of Perform Pal Pendulum Sorcerer once per turn. So yeah, like I said, I believe this is supposed to go with the, you know, the OCG ruling and everything too on it, with the OCG counterpart of the card, and uh, yeah, so just kind of a different change on that, and uh, just so you guys know that if, you know, if you're using a Sorcerer and all now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this, if you're happy, not so happy, and uh, also what deck you plan on using now, because maybe, you know, some of you out there were using Performa Pals, do you plan on maybe switching to something else, or are you going to try to make it work with Performa Pals, you know, just let me know what you guys think. I'm wondering if we're going to see a lot more monarchs now after this i don't know I, i'm just kind of wondering on that but uh I, I like i said i'm glad to see that they're doing some changes on this and uh like i said it's always a smart thing for a company to listen to their players and it sounded like in that article like they're trying to do that so be sure like i said to read that i'll have a link to that in the description as well but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments as always uh, thank you guys for watching be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for the latest Yu-Gi-Oh news and openings i have a lot of different openings planned for you guys so hope you guys are looking forward to them a lot of different stuff too you guys have been requesting and of course i will catch you guys later see ya Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Knight Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Knight CCG for Cardfight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!